The subjects of group based on UMass curriculum. If you did not find your subject in this video, it is probably in higher level, thus in different video. Go to the description box to find the subjects included and skip if you want. All tips are based on my personal experience. If you have different tips, please comment below. So before we get started, get a pen and paper and be ready to take down notes because this will be quite a lengthy cheat chat. If you have any questions, just comment down below. I'm getting really sweaty right now. So let's start. Pharmaceutical botany with taxonomy. Of course, you will expect scientific names of plants, but not too much. Then fungi, kingdoms, etc. Do not belittle this subject because it's familiar and not taking it in high school. This is college, expect information overload and you will encounter complex words na hayat ako mismo nabubulol. Expect a lot of classifications, for example, kingdom plantae. Kingdom plantae has vascular and non-vascular plants and under non-vascular plants we have biophyta and hepatophyta etc. That's just a few. And for vascular plants we have lycopodiophyta, pteridophyta, then under lycopodiophyta we have club and spike moses and killworts. Then, iba pa yung classification for leaves, flowers, stems, roots, etc. Basta you get the point. Marami siya. My main tip is to make an illustration like this. Highlight their differences. Also, their images. Lumalabas yan sa exam. For example, yung leaves, yung mga margins. Ganon. And very, very important, whenever you are writing scientific name, always put an underline. Some professors don't like that your handwriting is just slanted. I mean, you want it to make italicized. And don't forget to put a space between the genus and the species. Principles of Pharmacy Administration and Management 1 So in this subject, you will be able to know what it takes to be a leader and what its difference to a manager. It includes philosophy and principles. Um, it is not a matter of you know it or in memorization, but more of you need to understand it because exam is expected to be an essay. For me, the most crucial part is the research project because it will serve as an output. And if your professor is more of an outcome based, he or she wants to know how you will apply the principle of leadership and management. Honestly, that research project saved us in this subject. So my main tip is to fully understand its concept and apply it in your research project. Perspective in Pharmacy It is more of an introduction, the who's, the what's, the meaning, etc. You need to memorize here. Memorization. The content seems to be easy because it is like basic knowledge, but do not chill in this subject. Actually, all subjects naman in first year. I know first year is hard because it is the adjustment period. We are studying things that seems to be insignificant in the practice of pharmacy. But the thing is, they are very, very important because they are the basic foundation. And based on my professor's tips, they are mostly lumalabas sa board exam. For example, what is health? Who is the founder of first drugstore in the Philippines? Who is the first Filipino who studied pharmacy? Etc. In the latter part of the perspective in pharmacy, my tip is to know one or two brand names of drugs available here in the Philippines. Yung pinaka common. And kapag nagsasaulo ka, sauluhin mo lahat. For example, ano yung under sa pensaw kang mo? I don't care about the pronunciation, basta yon. Hindi pwede na mawang lang yung alam mo. Kasi sa exam, ang tinatanong nila is, which among this is hindi kasama sa pensaw kang mo? Ganun. Kaya kailangan sa uluhin mo siya lahat. R.I.P. girl. Kaya mo yan. Pharmaceutical calculation and techniques. From its name, calculation. My tip is to memorize all the conversion. Ipaskill mo na lahat ng conversion sa dingding nyo, sa wall nyo. Practice and practice solving pharmacy problems. I will link down below yung PDF book of Ansel which is yung usually referenced in this subject. You will find practice problem done and then solve them. Kasi usually yun din yung ginagamit ng mga professors. You also need to practice reading comprehension in pharmacy setting. I am highlighting pharmacy setting kasi more of dosing, more of gamot. Ganun. Pharmaceutical in organic chemistry. In this subject, memorization is the key. This is also one of the subjects na very, very information overload. 
the periodic table will be your partner here because you will discuss not not actually all elements but most of it so how the elements can be applied in the practice of pharmacy as antidotes etc you will not only discuss an element alone for example calcium hindi siya calcium lang meron siya under not pwedeng calcium carbonate calcium hydroxide calcium gluconate etc you can also make mnemonics in memorizing the elements by group so you can search for it you can make your own whatever you prefer well, you need to know their atomic mass and atomic number but don't pressure yourself too much because i believe na masasaulo mo rin siya kasi paulit-ulit even in higher subjects you will need them so masasaulo niyo din siya your notes also in high school will be a help in terms of the chemistry part the laboratory moving exam commonly is simply an identification of a certain compound yung reagent so my tip is to take a picture whenever you are conducting an experiment and also yung mga results in each test for example yung flame test ganon before the written exam in laboratory memorize yung chemical reactions the reagents and the products in chemical name human physiology and pathophysiology this subject is actually fun but very lengthy the nature itself my tip is go to youtube Watch crash course, watch osmosis, watch other videos. They will save your life. There will also be a lot of classifications to so have an illustration or make your own diagram, make your own flow chart na na iintindihan mo. Exam will absolutely have an essay so be ready to explain a whole topic. Like paano siya nangyayari ganun. And please do not forget this subject. This will be your foundation in higher subjects like pharmacology and telling you. So introduction to the healthcare system. This subject is not actually hard compared to other subjects. Expect that exam will be an essay type na identification is incorporated. For example, what are the ganyan and then explain. In this subject, basta mag-aral ka, I think papasa ka. Kasi it's not that technical dispensing one here you will know about dispensing process reading and interpreting the prescription and other medicine orders um dispensing process can be seen in better pharmacy so for more information about books you can find it here or here but there in my video i will link that in the description also and the dispensing process is this i will show it on the screen screenshot it um you will also learn about medical abbreviation um dispensing one for me is more of practical and application um expect that you will have practical exam hone your communication skill but do not be discouraged if you're like an introvert and you're not good at communicating it's just a matter of having confidence my tip during practical exam is maintain your presence of mind usually they will give you unexpected scenarios do not focus only on you need to, fo to finish this certain steps or the dispensing process rather focus on your patient's need kasi ganyan yung nangyari sa akin dati nung nag practical exam kami i was too focused on the steps na kailangan ko siyang magawa na kailangan ko siyang matapos in five minutes ganyan then nag start na ibibigay sa akin yung prescription then magre-research ka na and then i noticed na parang may mali sa prescription na parang the generic name and the brand name is not match i wasn't sure at first and na sure ko lang noon nung kausap ko na yung patient mismo ginawa ko yung dapat gawin regarding the problem dun sa prescription and i first attend yung need of the patient before completing the dispensing process. My time was up, I wasn't able to finish the dispensing process, but I had good grades because I was able to identify what is wrong at that moment and to attend to the patient need. Ayun, you need presence of mind. Tinuturo kasi siya, parang they will input you na you have to finish it all, na ganito yung dapat mong gawin, which is correct, but in the real case scenario, you need to think and put the patient first because we are in a new paradigm patient centered na tayo okay for pharmaceutical organic chemistry organic chemistry is more of familiarization and understanding high school notes will be a help especially if you are from stem the topics are 
napagdaanan mo na. And you will spend time drawing structures and naming them. So, practice lang ng practice. Search the internet for practice questions. In the finals, it will be difficult because you will apply it in drugs. Na, yung mga chemical structure and drugs. My tip is be familiar on the structure of the drugs. For the laboratory, memorize the reagents, the tests, and the positive result. Technically, everything. RIP again. Honestly, laboratory here is harder compared to lecture for me. Pharmaceutical Analysis 1, Quantitative Pharmaceutical Chemistry. As I said in my other video, this is not a good mixture of chemistry and math. Its principle is very critical in manufacturing, regulatory, research and development, etc. For the lecture, my tip is to understand first the principle and identify and highlight the differences of the principle so you will not be confused and so you can apply the correct formula in the problem. In the laboratory, also memorize the reagents, the tests, and the positive results. The book is can be found in the link. If you have practice problem, don, you can solve it. Practice lang na practice. It will not be easy, pero chaga lang talaga. Interpersonal and interprofessional communication skills. So in this subject, we had an exposure in a community pharmacy. So what you learn in this pensing shall be applied here. My tip is grab the opportunity to learn in the setting and to your pharmacist, yung mentor mo. Be an open book and ask questions. There's nothing wrong in asking questions. Always remember that you are still a student even you are having an exposure or like duty. There are things that you will appreciate more if you will see and experience them like the process of inventory, talking to real patients, various drugs, and proper storage, and more. So, medyo gumagabi na, kaya nagiging grainy na yung video. Well, we're finished na naman. That's all for now. Medyo masakit na yung lalamunan ko. Expect a video for second year subject, and if you have any additional tips, feel free to comment below. Let's help one another. I made this platform to reach out other farmmates na maybe they're struggling on their own, and I just want you to know that there are ates and kuyas out there that is willing to help you or mentor you or guide you in some way. I will use Moses' words, all you will need are wits, strategies, and determination in order to pass the subject. Please do not give up so easily when you fail. Remember, failure is just another way towards success. It will be all worth it once you achieve the title of RPH beside your name. We will all be RPH. Amen. Bye-bye <laughs> and take care.